hello again. Here we are for part two. I promise I won't take up as much as you, of your time as I did on the last video. This will be short and sweet. Alright, you would have seen at the beginning I showed you a little bit of me uh, getting compressed air into the first mess filter and you probably would have known that I was trying to get it out the, the way it came in if you can understand what I mean so I was it comes up through there the debris so as with a paper filter I'm trying to go back out if you can understand the method to my madness uh, the other big compartment which I haven't got handy at the moment well how, how do you do that short of replacing the whole thing so I haven't got the big answer for you on that one. Anyway, what I'm going to show you now is the final puzzle before you put it back together uh, that has the word oil in it. Now, if you have the original uh, bath, and I suppose the aftermarket ones have the same thing on them, there's writing on here. It says exact oil level. Here we go, let's try it from that side. Can you see that everyone? It says exact oil level and there's arrows pointing to exactly where you're going to fill up the oil with a, a, a line which equates to this groove in, in, the, in the bath there. I'm sure you can all follow that. So take note of the word exact and I'm telling you the word exact because that's what they mean smarter people than me have designed this and that's where the oil level's got to be not above not below for all sorts of reason reasons I can only think if you put too much in it's just going to get sucked up into the engine I personally use the exact same oil as I use in the engine so that all keeps it the same so I'm just going to fill it up into my little pourer here from out the back and we'll do that okay here we are I'm gonna pour the oil in and laugh as you may you're probably thinking Jesus <clears throat> does he have to show us how to pour oil into a cup well probably not but I hope you can see here exact oil level 3A152 all you Ferguson heads out there will take note of that because you know that's the designation of the actual engine on this tractor. That's the engine type of a Perkins three-cylinder diesel engine. So I'm just going to pour the oil in like it says to that fill line. And that's the end of it. Okay, all done. Easy as that. Alright, we've filled up the uh, bath with oil and it's a simple case of going and fitting it. We're going to put everything back together in the reverse of what we took it out. I don't need to show you that, but just take care when you're putting this up. Remember there's oil in it, don't be throwing it around or it'll go everywhere. Make sure everything's on nice and tight and everything will work properly. Alright, thanks for watching a very short video. I hope somebody out there got something out of it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.